Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and today we're going to be doing another collab. It's going to be with my great friend Anya. Yes, you heard that right. There is a second Anya, and she has a wonderful channel where she does all kinds of things like tag videos, makeup tutorials. She also talks about will I buy it or not. She has a whole series on that, so I will link her channel up above and also put it in the description box below, and I really hope you guys will go check out her channel because she's amazing. She's so sweet. She's so smart. She's very young, but she's so wise beyond her years, and I absolutely love watching all of her videos, so I hope you guys will definitely go check her out and subscribe to her channel. So today we're doing a look. We were talking about what to do. And we wanted to do something that was inspired by fall and fall colors, and, but I wanted to switch it up. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to do a two-tone eye and whatever we do on this eye is on the top is going to go on the bottom of this eye and vice versa. So that is what we're doing today. My eyelids are stained from my last um, video and if you see any dog hair on me, it's because I just hugged my dog and that's just the life of being a dog mom. So I'm gonna prime my eyelids today with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. That is just something that I like to do, especially when my eyelids are stained. Um, and I still feel like I have some green in the inner corner of that eye because I'm living my best life. So I'm just putting that all over my eyelids. And I like that this has like a little spongy tip. Some people don't like that um, about this concealer, but I really, I like this concealer a lot. So uh, let's see. <clears throat> okay, oh, there it is. I was looking for my little sponge to <clears throat> blend it out. I don't know what's going on with my voice today. I think it's the weather change, allergies, something. So I'm gonna be using a variety of things. I'm gonna be using some eyeshadows from Sugar Pill. I'm gonna be using um, Money Honey from Sugar Pill, which is the most beautiful like olive green. I'm gonna be using Penelope, which is a loose pigment from Sugar Pill. I don't know if you could see that very well, but it is a coppery, beautiful, it looks like molten, like copper on your eyelids and I'm going to be using the Violet Voss hashtag palette which I don't use nearly enough even though it looks like I have but I think it was just from like fallout from like the one or two times that I have used it and then I might use just dropped something I might use some shades from the Nubian 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 2 palette from Juvia's Place specifically that olive green right there so that is what we're dipping into today. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be using, but I just know that I want to do one eye primarily like orange and burgundy and one eye primarily um, like golds and greens. So that is what I want to do. So first I'm going to put some glitter glue on top of my eyeshadow base because, whoa, that was way too much, um, because I'm going to be going in with a lot of like Wow, that's so much, like way too much. Um, I'm gonna be using a lot of shimmers on the inner corners. So I'm just gonna put that on both sides and let it get a little tacky. I like to give shimmers a little help. I just feel like it's better for me than like wetting my brush just because wetting my brush can change the consistency of the eyeshadow. That's just me personally. And also I just, I don't know, that's just how I feel. So I'm going to go in on both sides with a mix of sauce and savage, which is like an orangey, um, actually not both sides. Sorry. Just one side. I'm going to go into the primarily orange side which I guess I've decided is this one. Originally I was gonna do it the other way around, but now we're doing it this way. So, and then on the other side, I think I'll go in with uh, Lady Boss, which is like a yellowy gold. And I'm just gonna run those through the crease. And then I'm gonna go to the lid. And I got something. Oh, it's a brush hair. 
Okay. I had a brush hair stuck in my glitter glue. Well, at least we know stuff sticks to it. All right, and then I think I'm actually gonna go in with Vacay, which is like a coppery shade over top of that because now that I have shimmer in the lid on the one side, I kind of want it on the other. I don't mind putting shimmer in the lid, I mean, in the lid, on the in the crease, not in the lid. I don't mind doing that personally. So some people don't like it at all but I don't mind. So when I think of fall, I do think of like yellows, greens, burgundies, like the leaves changing, that kind of thing. So I'm going to go in with the shade Truth, which is like a true yellowy gold, and that's going to go in the inner portion on my left eye. That's pretty. And then I'm going to, that's really pretty, wipe off my brush. And then on this side, I'm going to go in with uh, FOMO. Yeah. FOMO, which is like a light coppery shade. That's so pretty. I love this palette. I don't know why I don't use it more. I just think I forget about it. But it's so pretty. And it's it, I guess it is definitely more neutral than what I'm used to. And then I'm going to go into Penelope, which is like very chunky, very glittery. But it's so pretty. And I always forget about this pigment as well. And I'm just going to put that over top of it to make it really like glittery, sparkly. So yesterday, um, a collab went up with my friend Annette and there was supposed to be another collab that was supposed to go up with my bestie Allison and uh, my file was corrupted I was so upset you guys because it was with the boss mood palette and I did such a pretty look like you know how when you do such a pretty look and then something messes it up like I was so upset so now I have to recreate it but I guess it's not the end of the world. Allison was so sweet about it. So thank you, Allison. That's never happened to me before where I've gone to post something or upload something. Um, I guess there's a first for everything. And now I'm going into Money Honey, which is that beautiful green shade. But I just wanted to say thank you for being so understanding. Oh, I was like, did I go into the wrong side? Because this gold, the gold that I put in the crease next to the other gold looked a little bit more orangey. So I was like, uh oh, I messed it up already. Because, you know, I got to keep track of what I'm putting on which side. So I'm just going the rest of the way and then we'll deepen it up with a darker green. But these are definitely the shades that I think of when I think of fall. And then on the other side, I'm going to go into Living, which is like a shimmery bronze shade. Now that I see this palette, I think to myself, I probably didn't need the Boss Mood palette. But it's not true because the Boss Mood palette has more greens, or this one doesn't have any greens actually. And it definitely has more purples, but I mean, I don't ever need an eyeshadow palette per se because I have a lot, but when I saw the Boss Mood one, oh my gosh, that palette is seriously one of my favorite palettes. And the look I created with it, not to toot my own horn, but toot toot, I loved it. <laughs> so now I'm going into TBT, which is like this beautiful, like purpley maroon shade, and I'm just going to deepen up the outer and the crease with this one. That is so pretty, you guys. I just love this. I love it. It reminds me of just how all the leaves change into each other. Mm, I 
love it. And now I'm going to go into the Nubian 2 from Juvia's Place, and I'm going to go into the shade Egypt right here, which is that beautiful, 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 like, I thought it was like more of an olive green, but it's more like a foresty green. And I'm going to deepen up this side. And I love doing two-tone eyes. I've done them ever since I started doing makeup. I've been doing two-tone eyes, but I don't do them nearly as much as I want to. In fact, I was watching a video the other day. I forget who it was. Oh, no, I don't. It was Alice Lockhart. I don't know if you've ever seen her channel. I'll try to link her channel as well if I remember. But she is so cute and sweet and adorable, but kind of sassy at the same time. And she has a boutique that she sells like different accessories and had like a weird hiccup, um, different accessories and stuff like that in her boutique. And I saw a video that she did that I apparently missed during Halloween. And it was, I got stuff all over my hands. And it was a video where she did like a two-tone Halloween look and she did a black eyeshadow look on one side and then orange on the other and then vice versa. So cute. And I was like, man, I meant to do something like that when I was doing my Pinkoween videos, but I didn't. But in that video, she used Halloween makeup brushes and then she said she sells them in her boutique and literally they're orange and black brushes and I got them as soon as she said she was going to post the link and that she sells them in her boutique I was like oh, yes please and because it's after Halloween I guess they were on sale so when I get them I'll I just need a little bit more of this color here when I get them I'll show them to you because I'm going to use them next year for Pinkoween. And who knows, maybe throughout the year I'll use them as well. Never know. But when I show them to you, I will link them is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I already primed my face with my Glow Starter from Glam Glow. I was looking to see if I still have it here, but I apparently don't. It's what I normally use. I'm not, I use primers occasionally, like I use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, but sometimes I just go in with moisturizer. It's just the way it is. I find that that particular moisturizer is just really good for priming the face. And then I'm just using my flat paddle brush. I think I've done a few two-tone eye looks on my channel, if I'm not mistaken. Like, I've done some rainbow ones. I think I did a blue and green one. But I definitely want to do more. I feel like now I have to actually look in the mirror so that I don't go into my brows, although I probably still will. There was one day that, or there was one video where after I was done filming, I was like, oh, awesome. I had like skipped a whole line <laughs> here because I was talking and I wasn't paying attention. For some reason, I feel like today this looks a bit like a mask. I'm not sure why. Oh, you know why? I know why. Because I didn't mix my foundations. Normally, as you guys know, I mix the two shades because one is a little too white and one is a little too dark. And normally I mix them and I didn't. Did I tell you this already? I think I told you this already. In one video recently, 
I totally didn't even set my face. I just completely forgot. There was another video, I forget which one it was. This was a while ago, but I totally didn't even remember to put on mascara. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder how I make it through life. <laughs> but, you know, I get distracted. I talk a lot and then I just get really distracted. So I'm just using my Real Techniques very uh, used diamond sponge. I think they still sell these at Ulta. I'm using my Makeup Revolution Define and Conceal Concealer for under my eyes. The um, Maybelline, uh, what did I use? The Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I love that under the eyes but I only currently have the brightener shade so it's good for like color correcting and brightening under your eyes but it's not the best for concealing and like really highlighting so I need to repurchase the correct shade for my skin tone and Sophie has already begun snoring I'm going to go in with my little cocktail of powder, which is my Maybelline Fit Me. Ooh, it's a lot. My Laura Mercier and my peach powder. I don't know why, but I really love these three together. I feel like the Maybelline one sets my face all day. I feel like the L'Oreal, the L'Oreal, the Laura Mercier one um, absorbs all the oil. And I feel like the Peach Perfect like really blurs the skin. So I think the three together are like the perfect combination. Call me crazy. You know, I still have this eyeshadow sitting here that I want to do a look with and I keep forgetting. The um, Swoon eyeshadow from Kat Von D. So expect that in a future video. I like to let the powder sit for just a little bit. And I'm gonna go in with my butter bronzer. I've really been liking this brush from the Jaclyn Hill collection, the JH05, which is this one here. And I think most of the Jaclyn Hill brushes, Morphe actually does sell like individually without the white handle, like without Jacqueline's name on it. Some of the ones I think she created with them, but for the most part, I think they're just normal brushes that are in their collection. I think I told you guys this in a previous video, but I'm so mad that I didn't know that Morphe was coming out with multiple collections with different influencers this year because I definitely would have purchased the James Charles collection over this one. Not that I don't love this one, I just would have liked to have tried a different influencer's take on Morphe brushes and his comes in a really cool like tub and there's like two of certain kinds of brushes, which would have been nice, like specifically for this eye look, it would have been awesome because since I'm doing two different eyes, I wouldn't have had to like clean off the brushes in between. It would have been amazing, but alas, I didn't know. All right, I need blush. And apparently I didn't grab any. Do I have any eyeshadows I can use as blush? <clears throat> not in that shadow. Let me go grab some blush and I'll be right back. It was sitting right in front of my face, my little Papa Don't Peach blush. I've really been liking this, especially for fall looks because it's very peachy, but it's also luminous. So I feel like it kind of gives your skin that glow back, especially when you, if your skin is like dry in the winter. So, I love it. And then for highlight, I'm going to go into the Bitter Lace Beauty um, Toothache 
highlighter. That's this one. The one that I got for my Halloween videos. And it's um, candy corn colored. But I just kind of swoosh all the colors together. And I love the color it creates. Hold on. My skin is a little too wet to put on highlighter. Okay. And now Jeffrey is crying because he's like, Mama. I swear. I think they have separation anxiety from me. A little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Not glowing as much today, but that's all right. Well, okay, maybe I am. Maybe I am. I was going to say some days I don't feel the need to glow as much, but that's a total lie. I love highlight. Highlight and eyeshadow, I think, are my two favorite. I can, like, totally forget to put on many other things, as I said before. But those are the two things that I absolutely have to have. I'm just looking for... Oh, yeah, I'm going to use that today. That's exciting. Okay. It's exciting that I remembered that. Where the heck is my... Sorry, guys. Um, did I remember to press record? Okay, yes, I did. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to go into this Urban Decay double-sided liner, and I'm going to go into the demolition side, which is like kind of like just a chocolate brown. I always grab everything that I'm going to use in a video ahead of time, but just like sometimes I forget to put stuff on, sometimes I forget to grab something. I try to go like from beginning to end what I'm going to use in a video and then I just drop something else and then sometimes I just forget. So on the this side, the green side underneath, I'm going to go in with uh, TVT which is that burgundy purple shade on the outer portion. It's so pretty. I'm definitely going to do a look with just this palette. I have so many palettes that I need to do a look with. Oh, I... That's why I'm on a Actually, well, I was on a low buy, and now I'm putting myself on a no buy. Oh, I like that, you guys. Okay. And then on this side, we're going to go in with Truth and Lady Boss on the inner corner. And then a little bit of Money Honey. Basically, I'm, like I said, I'm just doing... On the bottom, the opposite of what I did, or what I did on the top on the other eye. And then, who I just got the eyeshadow in my eye. I watched this one girl, Rocio. I don't know if you watch her, but oh, she is like, oh my gosh, so talented. And she does so many colorful looks. And she will put eyeshadow in her waterline. Like, her eyes just are not sensitive. I don't know how she does it, but she does almost every video. And I'm always, like, my eyes are watering, like, just from watching her do it. It's like, whoa. Okay. And then, hopefully, what I just got under my eyes will come off. Not quite. So, let me... I need to remember to do um, powder under my eyes, even just to do my lower lash line, since I do such colorful colors. It's gonna look weird for a second. Okay, I have to reapply some highlight. Oh, this side is like pink. Oh, well, what can you do? I've 
just feel like it looks really, my face looks really powdery today. I don't know why. Okay, so now mascara. I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara that I got in my BoxyCharm. And I got a huge glob on my eyelash line. I think my skin is like a combination of why do you keep putting on so much makeup day after day after day? And also what is with this weather? because the weather has really been changing like so much back and forth from like really cold to kind of warm to really cold again to kind of warm again. And whenever that happens, I think my skin is like, no, I don't approve. And I literally have powder all over my shirt. My hair is also like, what is with this weather? Okay, Whew. I was able to get that off. And then I think just for fun, we're going to take um, these stars and just put one on either side. I have the Rimmel ones because... It was 72 cents at Rite Aid on clearance, and I was like, yes, yes, please. I have black eyeshadow all over my fingers. I'm just gonna wipe this off. Thanksgiving is almost upon us. I'm gonna go into two lips from ColourPop. I think this will complement both sides. Okay. I feel like I, I don't know. I feel like my lips are just not even. Like, not the lip color, but my lips themselves. And I feel like that's why I have an issue putting on lip color. So, I watched a video on the Jeffree Star collection. I'm just making it worse. Um, from someone who had gotten it in PR. And, oh my gosh. It looks amazing. I can't wait to use mine. I haven't gotten it yet. But soon. So this is the final two-tone fall-inspired eye look. I cannot wait to see what Anya created. She is like me. She loves colorful looks. She loves doing just, you know, fun, fun, colorful looks, especially pinks and blues. And I cannot wait to see what she created. So please go check her out. Again, I will have her in the cards above and in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know that I was a little bit less talkative maybe in this video. I haven't been feeling the best today, but um, that is probably why. But thank you guys again so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'm so thankful to have you and I appreciate you all more than you'll ever know. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or your evening whenever you're watching this and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.